Welcome, I'm Planet Mitch from Planet5D.com where we cover DSLR photography and video. Today I've got a review of GPS for Cam, a great little application that records GPS locations while you're out shooting photos. Doesn't do video, but if you're shooting photos and you have a camera like a Canon 5D Mark II like I do that doesn't have a GPS unit in it, and you don't want to go buy one of those big bulky things and carry it around with you, but you do happen to have an iPhone, then this is a stupendous little application for 99 cents. You have your phone with you, you shake it, you get a GPS location or it will do it automatically while you're walking around. You take your photos, you come home, and you process the photos on your desktop, and Bifto Bango, you've got GPS locations in your photographs, and you're a happy camper. So watch the demo I'm going to give you here in a second, and I'm sure by the time you're done, you'll say 99 cents or a dollar and a quarter or whatever the current price is, it's worth it. Here you have the GPS for Cam application home screen. When I did my trip, I did the standard recording, but I also changed it to record every 10 minutes. You can go into the preferences, and you can specify 1 minute, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes. My trip was going to be 10 days long, so I thought I'd just go with 10 minutes. Taking a GPS snapshot every 10 minutes would be okay. And it turned out that was pretty much okay. There were a couple of spots where uh, photos were grouped together when we were traveling in the car that were, you know, 10 minutes at 60 miles an hour is pretty, pretty fast. Um, I was taking snapshots out the window. So, you know, it, you just need to decide what's best for you. The more snapshots you take, the more uh, QR codes you have to, s to photograph when you're done with the trip. Um, so you can change that in the preferences. Here on the bottom is the trips indicator, and you can see I had a couple of practice trips before, but we left on May 28th, and that trip has already been exported. Normally it will say in process, um, but this is, this is what the trip looks like when it has been exported. They show you the map. Uh, you can actually resume the trip if you want, or you can do export, which will give you the QR codes you see here that uh, we had to have several different barcodes because our trip was so long. So um, you can see the dots along here. There, are, I think there's actually nine QR codes. But you, you take a photograph of the QR codes, and that's what's going to be used in the process of tagging. Uh, so if I go back, you can see, again, here's the map. And you can actually drill in while the... Um, while you're actually traveling, you can drill in and see all the different uh, stops that you that it, or GPS points that it is tagged while you're going. Uh, so that's kind of fun. So you you know you get some warm and fuzzies that you're actually recording your trip as you go. Um, you can also go into help. There is a uh, great little tutorial here that you walk through if you want to at the beginning. Um, very similar to what's on their website, but it's right here on the phone, which is really cool. And then they also have the frequently asked questions, which I should have referred to uh, several times because I ended up asking uh, some questions via email that were actually answered here uh, in the FAQs. For example, one I found out that was pretty important during the trip, here's a question I had was, what about going to different time zones? Because I was actually traveling from St. Louis to Chicago to the southwest, and uh, that's in central time, and then the southwest is in mountain, and then, of course, Arizona doesn't observe daylight savings time. So the question that I asked was uh, this one about, will GPS for cam geotag my pictures when I travel through different time zones? And the answer is yes. And the key thing is don't change your camera settings for your time. Leave the camera alone and it will properly figure out, believe it or not, even when I was in Arizona, it figured out what the right uh, location was for the photos. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. 
you can turn the in-application instructions on and off, which just is a simple little text that, that ap appears there. And they even have a button for sending a contact uh, email question while you're in the application. So watch their video uh, demonstration of how the application works, and then uh, I'll, I'll show you a demo on the desktop of what you do uh, when I got home, how I, I processed all of my photos. When you finish your trip, you do the export button on the GPS for Cam application and it creates a QR code which you then take a snapshot of. In my case, I was given nine of them, I think, two, four, or six, eight, nine. And so I actually took photos of all nine of those barcodes. Each one of those I copied over to the hard drive where I had the files. So you see, I purchased a Buffalo drive from Amazon. It was a little 500 gigabyte external drive. I also had a demo unit from Verbatim. For, it was 500 gigabytes. So I used both of those to back up my data on the trip so that I would have not only the uh, uh, CF cards from my 5D Mark II, but then I would have two different hard drives with the data on them. So what I've started doing is processing through those folders. This first one is, for example, the, the first set of uh, images from May 29th and 30th. And what I did, if, if I go all the way to the bottom, you'll see a bunch of movies, blah, 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 blah. And you'll see right here, I copied those QR codes into this location. And there's one of the QR codes again. And then what I did was I went into GPS for Cam and I went to that particular folder and I said that's the input. So there's GPS for Cam has a very simple input on your desktop, the program that you run on your desktop that's going to geotag all of those photos. And then what you do is you also specify an output folder. Now I asked it to create a new folder because I didn't want to mess up the backup just in case something went wrong. So I created a new folder called Output and that's what I chose for it to do the process and then you click the Go button. Once you click the Go button, and I'm not going to do it now because there's a lot of photos in there that are already processed, it will go through all of the images, it will find the QR codes, so it's again expecting the QR codes to be in this folder where your uh, images are, finds the QR codes, and then mashes through all of the photos that it can find in that particular folder. Now, this particular folder happens to have 1,300 images in it, and that took a little over an hour, so this isn't going to be speedy quick for a long trip but it does a very accurate job. So GPS for Cam, you click the button, you, you got the images out, and then you import them. I happen to use Aperture, and so I'm going to flip over to Aperture, and here you can see that I've got a map. I'm in places in Aperture, and I have imported all of those images from my trip now. So you see a whole bunch of different uh, little locations, and if you tap on a particular location and you see the f images that are in there. You also see that there are 21 photos in that particular location. Uh, we went to Mesa Verde, so if I tap that, then you see there's a whole bunch of images down here from Mesa, Mesa Verde. And if you want, you can, with um, Aperture, you can double click and drive in and you can see a whole bunch of different locations once you start getting in there and you can specifically get to the images based on those locations so it's it's really very handy to be able to get in and I know those are overexposed but that's a whole nother issue so as you can see it works quite well to come up with all of those different locations where we were traveling throughout Mesa Verde on this particular day to uh, take photos and the farther you drill in I have a very sensitive mouse and I apologize because it's just gone wacky uh, so as you 
as you drill in you can see the different locations and again I used the 10 minute setting so there may have been situations where we walked in between these and there may be you know it, it's not way down to the very uh, foot that I was taking snaps but um, it was it was good enough for me that I mean it gets me in the boat gets me in the general vicinity especially when you you're zoomed out and uh, most likely that's what you'll be doing in most of your applications you don't necessarily need to know exact locations but then again that's why they have the one minute setting on the GPS for cam iPhone application so as you can see it's it's very accurate did a very good job of processing my photos I highly recommend GPS for Kim. You can't really pass up a 99 cent application that will geotag all of your photos for you while you're gone. And it works on a variety of cameras, including all of the Canon line, even the power shots, which my daughter used. And it's currently 99 cents, which is, it says 25% off for the first 500 people that purchase this. I think I, uh, purchased it uh, some time ago when it was still 99 cents or it might have been a dollar 99 I'm not really sure but even if it's two bucks my stars the amount of work that's uh, that Michael and uh, uh, Martin have put into this is amazing it works like a charm you you got to have this on it's it's much cheaper than purchasing any other external device and like I said it works like a charm so that's GPS for Cam. I hope you enjoyed our broadcast, and uh, please give us a like on iTunes. And keep an eye out for many live interviews on Planet 5D.